Welcome to Post for our heart taking on the fairy tale story of Vilnius de Ask. Later this evening, the All Turkish affair as Benavache will take on the hometown team Chuka Rover. Here's the road to the final. Here's how these teams got here. Benavache turning over Avenida in a two game series. Chukarova beating Zalagotha whilst Praha taking over Skio in three games and Vilnuev de Ask took three games to defeat DVTK. What a season we've had and what a fitting climax it will be here this weekend for the 2024 Euroleague women's season. We're now having the player introductions as Praha run to the floor. They've looked like a balanced team this season, much deeper roster than last season, and that real ability to play strong basketball on both ends of the floor really has helped them progress. They're the second best offense in the competition, as well as the second best defense. And that real nice balanced offense that they have as well, getting scores from inside and out, much hype going into the front court of Praha, but you have to pay respect to pretty much every player in their roster, able to turn up in a big way in big games. However, obviously the injury to their inspirational, their emotional leader, their captain, Taya O'Black, a few weeks ago, certainly hit them hard, and it will be interesting to see who steps up, who takes the leadership role for Praha in... interesting listening to the press conference yesterday where coach Hekova was very clear she was saying not expected to be here this year they kind of ripped things up in the offseason rebuilt the roster from scratch and she was just wasn't sure how the team were going to gel she's been absolutely thrilled with how they have gelled how they've come together as a team and how they have managed to get to the final fours leading their group now Villeneuve de Ask will be introduced to the crowd first out is Chavante Zelas but what can you say about this French team first French team to make it to a final fours since 2014 when Bourges were knocked out in the semi-finals and unbelievably if they win today they'll be the first French team to make it to a final in 20 years that shows you the pressure that they have and French basketball I'm sure are tuning in all those French basketball fans to watch this one and I'm sure uh, club loyalties have been put to one side for this weekend as the whole of France will get back behind this team to see if they can put France on the top step of the top competition. Coach Mezian has had a hell of a year and his composed demeanor has certainly helped this team. You can see through the player introductions how much bond they have as a team. They really are a very cohesive unit. And listening to their captain, Caroline Elio, yesterday at the press conference, she said, it's, uh, we're all a little bit crazy. And she just said, uh, the key to it for them really is just to carry on the crazy and see how long it lasts. It's been a dream to get here and they just want to keep on dreaming. I think that uh, really summed it up beautifully yesterday. The teams have been introduced here in the arena the bright lights are back on the show court as we are now a little under four and a half minutes away from our opening tip-off first semi-final of the day as the teams go to the half court and the uh, last of the pleasantries before they go to battle here here are your starting five oh, in fact uh, just a brief glimpse of the graphic we'll be back to that shortly i'm sure We look at some of the coaching staff for Praha. Both teams now getting into those final warm-up stages. And for Praha, it's a chance for them to bounce back from what would have been a disappointing final four last season, whilst coach Mezia at the other end of the floor. Well, it's a chance to write some history into the club's books. It's a chance to maybe reignite the history for French basketball in this competition. And as I say, what a coach he is becoming if not already winning gold medals in the biggest competitions for national teams, picking up the Eurobasket women's gold medal. Here's the starting five for Praha, Kozola, Varachkova, Konde, Ayayi, and Magbegor. 
Plenty coming off the bench as well, though, for coach Hakeover. Hoff and Sabali will be a big part of today's game as well. The uh, absence of Teo Black will be problematic, though, for Praha. Not only does she contribute in so many ways on the box score, there's the intangibles that she brings to that team, the composure, the drive. She manages the tempo and the emotions. It's now down to some of the other players to step into that role today. Here's the starting five for Villeneuve Dask. We have Zealous, Smalls, Diaby, Burke and Salon. Again, a shortened bench for coach Mezia, but talent coming off it. Manunga, Lesoa Mbaku and their club captain as well, Alio, will uh, no doubt have an impact on today's game. Here's your officials for today. Cecilia taught Montgomery, Viola, Georgi and Petar Pesic from Hungary, Romania and Serbia respectively. An honour for uh, officials as much as it is the players to be called up to cover this final four. They've uh, all had a good season with the whistle and this is a uh, recognition of that as well. Plenty of smiles from the officials. I'm sure they're going to enjoy the game as much as the players do. Building up to this game, it was a tough one to call. Neither team had uh, given us a reason to believe. Oh, black for Praha could be the tipping point. That said, Villeneuve to ask probably need to bring their absolute A game to this one. Players and the starting fives now coming to the floor. Here's our head to head Burke against McBegor. Two influential players in different ways for sure, but two very influential players for their teams. They both want to have a big game today, help their teams progress through to the final. And we're underway here in Mersin, the 2024 EuroLeague Women Final Fours. Our opening semi-final, Villeneuve Dask against Praha. Salone has to come back out. Looking to go inside again, they do. The double team drops inside, kick to the weak side corner. Burke attacks the basket, goes to that left hand. Not soft enough, though. A real battle inside between Diaby and McBegor, and Diaby draws first blood. First points to the French team. Pass inside, McBegor. Easy score, smart drive to the basket from Ayayi. Zealous now. Hands it off to Salon, running a little weave and a handoff on the top, but the foul's going to be called. <laughs> Sideline ball now for Villeneuve Dask. Diaby gets the inbound pass. No handoff there, though. Praha playing some good, tough off-ball defense right now. They double onto the ball, though. That leaves the short corner too open. Not this time. Big rebound, though, by Salone. Villeneuve Dasco again. The wing three is short. Conde this time scoops up the rebound for Praha.
McBegor looking for the pass inside to Ayayi. Needs to be careful. She's been in the paint a long time. McBegor pulls the trigger on a three. And Praha looking a little bit static offensively. Not really free-flowing to start the game. Oh, a quick release. Three. And there's another big bucket. Zellis drains the three. Praha moving the ball around the perimeter. Looking for options. Nothing there just yet. Three ball from the corner, he's good. Rajkova ties the game back up at fives. 24-year-old, eight points a game. Salone gets it back to the top, into the hands of Small. She attacks the basket. Oh, the lane just opens up and she maximizes. Conde now. Oh, lovely pass back to Mike Cazola. Off the pass from Conde. Salon called for the foul. Cazola, a chance for a three point play and to give Praha the lead. Connects with the bonus. Into the corner, pulls up short. That's a tough shot off the glass. Good defense by Praha. Conde leads the charge, drives inside. Won't get the roll off the glass, though. Both teams playing some good defense early on. Contested three ball. It doesn't matter how hard you contest that shot. That is a beautiful triple from Chavante Zellis. Real leader for this French team, averaging over 10 points a game. Shooting 33% from outside. She's going to be called for the foul, though. Reaching around, trying to strip it away. Sideline ball for Praha. Second foul of the quarter for Villeneuve Dask. Kazula now. Ayayi sets the screen. Will never ask. Oh, and stolen away. Run away. An easy two out in the break. Janel Salon extends Villeneuve to Ask's lead out to four. Kazola now rips it through. Praha playing. Plenty of two man game. And oh, aye, aye, just drains the triple from the top. Both teams starting to warm up nicely here in the first quarter. Villeneuve Dask lead by a single point. A little under six minutes left in this first quarter. Oh, beautiful handle, but the shot is short again for Salon. It's batted to Diaby though, and the French team will go again. Step back, triple, not another one. Yes, it is. Big shot this time. Camille Smalls hits the three. Will no have to ask. Doing a great job from outside. They've not shot the ball from the perimeter pretty well this season, averaging a little over 30%. Hasn't been the best aspect of their game, but it certainly is paying off early here for them. A little hesitation on the jumper. Maybe Diaby shouldn't have hesitated as she gets it to roll. And timeout called early here by coach Haykova. Her team trail by six, a little over five minutes left in this first quarter.
Be interesting to see how Praha react now coming out of this timeout. They trail early. There was a steal by Salone. She got out and ran it full length of the floor. Transition bucket. Her first score of the game after missing her first two jumpers, but they were contested. She seemed to be forcing it a little bit. Real over has come into the game for Cazorla. Sabali is sitting on the subs bench as well, ready to come into the game for Praha. Ball inside, but it's dropped out of bounds by Conde. Both teams going to make the change. Sabali going to come in for Ayayi. Yeah, Conde couldn't quite hold on to it. And the Villeneuve Dask captain, Elio, comes in for Salon. Interesting change as Praha go bigger and Villeneuve Das go smaller here. Little two game in the corner. Jumper no good over the back. Well, didn't catch anything, so it's still live. Praha bringing it away with a little bit of pace. Conde trying to shake things up, bullying away to the basket. Will draw the foul off Alio. She's not happy with the call, but Conde clearly trying to use that size advantage as much as she possibly can. She stands at 186 compared to 165. That is a considerable advantage that she has in that matchup. Conde hits the first of her two in 83% free throw shooter this season. So certainly a player that you don't want to be sending to the line if you are Villeneuve Dask. Elio brings it up over the half, harassed by Villalova. Villalova to spend a little bit more time on the floor than maybe usual, particularly with the absence of Taya O'Black. The Abbey now hands it back. Pick and roll, kicked out. Alio open for three. Not this time. McGregor fighting hard, but Kennedy Burke fighting harder. Drive inside. Verachkova tries to stay with her. Quick ball movement here again by Villeneuve. Dask and she draws the foul. Alio. With the absolute lightning first step to drive at the bucket. Look at this ball movement, though. This is what they have done all season. This is why they are at the final four. Selfless basketball, always looking for that extra pass. So problematic to guard against. Good for both from the free throw line. Extends Villeneuve Dask's lead back out to six. Passing to McBegger, she's going to go to work. Draws the defense in, kicked out to Villalova. That's a short jumper, though. Oh, lovely pass. Alio rejected by McBegger. She has been doing that all season long. As he McBegger leads EuroLeague women in blocks. Baseline ball, though. Elio almost stolen away by Cazorla. Always heads up basketball here. So Mbaka, oh, drives at the basket against Ayayi, hands it off. That's a great cut by Kennedy Burke, times it beautifully. 
the angle and the timing. We saw Mbaka just knew she was going to be there. Villalova now into the hands of Kozula. Kozula looking for some options. Ayayi for three. Oh, another triple. Valoya Ayayi stepping up. The French international. She wasn't playing, I'm sure, would be cheering her compatriots on, but she is. And she's trying to pull them apart right now. Alio drives the baseline again. Oh, but the pass is swamped by Hoff. Foul will be called on Lisoa Mbaka. Fourth team foul. Of the first quarter here for Villeneuve Dask. Double changes, Zealous and Diaby come out of the game. Into the action comes Gay and Salon. Sabali, lane opens up, barrels away inside, it's stripped away, but it will be a Praha ball on the baseline as it comes off the legs of Burke. Villalova catch and shoot, short corner two. Clips the front of the iron and doesn't drop. Oh, long outlet pass, Salone stretching the legs out to get to that one. Gein now down in the low post against Hoff. Trying to muscle away into the paint. Drop step, oh, Hoff with the quick hands, rips it away. Praha out, flowing down the floor. Kozola, three ball on the wing, no good. Hoff with another rebound, big impact. Coming onto the floor off the bench, Ayayi for three! My goodness me! What a game Valoria Ayayi is having already. And it's only the first quarter. Look how hard the contact is. Stays with the player, follow through is beautiful. Draws the foul. Chance of a four point play. Ayayi with a 10 point first quarter performance here. Headache for coach Mezia. So on back out to Salon. Corner pocket three. That's good. Both teams really warming up nicely. The offense has been flowing here in the first quarter. Hazola. Good defense here by Villeneuve Dask. Ayayi. Oh, there is nothing that she cannot do right now. She's pulling all of the tricks out of her bag. She's got a smile on her face as she comes back to defense. 12 points now for Ayayi. And there she is defensively foul to be called on Kazola. Just caught reaching in on that one. Baseline ball here. Praha not in the penalty yet, just three team fouls here in this first quarter. As we uh, have a little jewellery situation that needs taken care of for Guy, and we are good to go. Alio to inbound, goes long. Final minute here of this first quarter, the Soa and back to Alio. Oh, a little short corner too, no good. Sabali with a big rebound. Trying to replicate what assisted it last season. Oh, goes coast to coast. Taking it all on Niara Sabali. Tied at 24 apiece. What a first quarter. We knew it would be close. It's not letting us down. Alio off the glass, too hard. Rebound pulled down though. She'll go again. Oh, beautiful footwork on the baseline. Will Nuev Das take the lead? Final 10 seconds now of this first quarter. An electric, a lightning first quarter that we've had here in Mersin. Kazola kicks it out. Wing three is good. Villalova closes it out on a high for Praha. And with that triple, they take the lead. 
into the first quarter break. What a first 10 minutes of basketball. That is a way to get our final four underway. 10 minutes in the book, Villeneuve Dask, 26, Praha 27. Here are some of the stats from that first quarter of action, and it is certainly good-looking stats pretty much for both teams. Both of them shooting the three ball unbelievably well, though. Praha, 15 of their 27 from outside. Villeneuve Dask, 12 of their 26 from outside. It'll be interesting to see how this one progresses over the next three quarters. What a first 10 minutes of basketball to get us underway here in Mersin for the 2024 EuroLeague Women Final Fours. Praha sneak a one-point lead on the back of that made triple from Villalova at the end of the first quarter, but it really is. Well, the first quarter owned by Valoyan Ayayi. She ends up with 12 points. As for Villeneuve Dask, some big players, none more so than Zealous, who has six points to lead them in scoring. But as always with the French team, it has been a full team effort. Whilst Praha have leaned heavily on Valoria Ayayi. That is one of many big shots she's made in that first quarter. She is four from four from the field, including perfect three from three from outside. Second quarter underway here in Mercy in the opening semi-final of the 2024 EuroLeague Women Final Fours. Drive inside off the glass, and that's just strength on show from Amanasa Gay to Zorlin out. Stolen away as these teams defensively, even though it's a high scoring first quarter, you wouldn't say they were lacking defensively. Long two is no good. Salone with that wingspan glides in, but it's ripped away by McBegor. Almost stolen back by Burke. Villalova takes the three, takes the two. Oh, that was so off balance from Villalova. Stepping up in a big way with the absence of O'Black. Five points for Villalova already. Soa Mbaka trying to find a way around Sabali. Tapped out of bounds by Kozola. It will remain. Villeneuve Dask ball as real overheads to the bench, replaced by Conde. Plenty of discussion prior to this game amongst both fans and experts, or so called experts alike, that this was a tough one to call. I fell on the side of Villeneuve Dask, and that was primarily because I felt that the absence of O'Black would be so important. That's a poor pass, though, thrown away. A little bit early, the pass there from Burke to the Abbey. She wasn't in place for it just yet. But it really does come down to who steps up for Praha, which of the players that haven't put in big performances this year come in and put in a huge performance here this evening. McBegor looks to drive to the basket. Double team drops down on her and it's off the leg of McBegor, so it will be a Villeneuve Dask ball. Oh no, the foot in fact. Good call by the official, great defense. They double down hard onto the Australian international. Zealous now brings it up over the half. Salone, waiting for options. What's the call here? Kozola, is it? I think it is. Be a second foul on Kozola. Baseline ball now for Villeneuve Dask. 
They'll make the change. McBegel comes out. Varachkova comes in. Long pass. Plenty of high pick and roll for Villeneuve to ask. Kicked out. Salon fakes the free. Elbow jumper. Rattles around. McBegel just reaches up high and pulls it down. In fact, it was a Yagi, sorry, that checked out just a moment ago. Conde goes to that left hand. She's not got it rolling just yet, Maria Conde, but she is one of those influential players for Praha that I guarantee you will step up in this final four. Pass inside the Abbey. Foul's going to be called on Vrachkova. It's a little late, but I think it's the right call. Rather the right call than the wrong one. Vrachkova saying, I'm standing straight up. Here's the replay. You're not standing straight up. Your hands are forward, and I think it's the... I'm not sure she caught her arm with the extended hand. has just come into the game again another interesting to play at to see how she gets on not had a huge impact the Belgian but really is uh, an interesting battle in the front court between these two so much talent from both sides Ayayi, a very quick break no real surprises she's got the hot hand coming out of that first quarter 12 points unstoppable Conde now Hands it back to Kozula. Kozula looking for options. There's nothing there. Sabali now. We'll put it on the floor. Goes to the basket. Oh, that's just strength. Bully basketball from Sabali. Batted away by Conde, but it will remain Villeneuve Dask ball on the sideline. Raha with the two-point lead here. As Coach Mezian looks on. Oh, good defense from Praha. They blocked the handoff on the screen. Sabali hedged hard. That's going to be a tied possession, and possession arrow points in favor of Praha. There's the hard hedge from Sabali, forcing Zealous to go back the other way, and Ayayi pounces. Sideline ball for Praha. Seven minutes left in this first half. They lead by two. Certainly a lower scoring second quarter than first. But it was unexpected to be such a high scoring first quarter, to be honest. Two very good defensive teams. Sabali fakes the three. Travelling violation is going to be called. Just lifted that pivot for a moment too early. There's the travel. Batted back by Conde. Picked up, though, by Smalls. Smalls shaking away to the basket. What a handle. Salon for three. No good. Batted out of bound by Manunga. She was uh, outnumbered. Got hold of the ball, but couldn't quite hold onto it fully. Another change for Praha as Villalova comes in and Kozula goes to the bench. Rumours have it that maybe Kozula having a potential injury issue coming into the final four, so may see limited minutes. That certainly doesn't help coach Haykova when uh, you have a blackout injured as well. McBegor inside to Sabali, gets the score. What a play, and coach Mezian has seen enough. Praha's lead is up to four. He calls a timeout as Praha now starting to dominate the paint, starting to really relish the battle inside. Hey, Sabali with strength, sealing out Manunga to get her third score of the game. She's perfect three from three from the field. Let's head straight into the huddles, hear what coach has to say.
Coach Mezian looking to stop Praha's momentum as quickly as he possibly can. Well, it's Praha starting just to find a way to control the paint, and that was always going to be a key battle in this game. Both teams with some very impressive and deep talent in the front court. Zealous now at the top. Finds Manunga. Double screen coming across now for Smalls to use. There's the roll. Kick to the corner. Manunga. Long two is good. That one whips through the string. And that is what Manunga can bring. She is that versatile threat. Strong enough to play inside, but a, a nice little soft mid-range touch as well. McBegor. Almost stolen away, it is stolen away, and there's the foul. Is it going to be an unsportsmanlike on Ayayi? Let's see what the call is. It's just a regular foul. It is, it will be a sideline ball for Villeneuve Dask. They were asking for the unsportsmanlike. The officials say not this time. Zealous now over the half. Smalls, oh, that's a beautiful pass inside and the finish. That's great vision and execution. An awkward angle to pass down into the low post, but completed with ease by Smalls. Down low, Sabali again. What's the call? Foul is the call. Foul called on Manunga. Yeah, it's the right call. Shabali couldn't get it to go, though. She'll, she'll have to earn a point from the free throw line. What a game we are now having from Sabali. Ayayi owned the first quarter. It's looking like Sabali may own the second. There's your commentator's curse. And she misses from the free throw line. 72% from the charity strike this season. Niara Sabali. Off left again. Salon. The Abbey trying to hand it off to Smalls, but Conde is overplaying it. Shot clock down to five, and it's a backcourt violation. That's Salon. Couldn't hold on to the pass. Sideline ball for Praha. We're going to see a change. Kennedy Burke will come back into the game as Manunga goes to the bench. All over now to Magbegor. McBegor, a oh, lovely pass. What vision by McBegor and a finish by Sabali. She's hobbling away back up the floor, though. Will Villeneuve Das capitalise? They won't. McBegor with another rejection. Big plays at both ends of the floor for McBegor. Villeneuve for three. Little heavy. Rebound. Ripped down. This time by Cariata Diaby. Out of bounds. Call by Zealous. She's not happy, needs to be careful. That's her last warning. And that's a technical foul on Zealous, and that's the right call from the officials. You won't see it because you're watching the replay, but she sarcastically clapped the official and said, good call. So that will be a technical free throw for Praha. Zealous, veteran player. 15-year pro career and doesn't need to create problems for her team like that. Ayayi gets the bonus to go, gets the technical free throw. Coach Meziat has now had his final warning as well. Four minutes left in his first half. Praha lead this one by three. Kazola. Tries to drive down the middle, has to come back out. Villalova, another three ball goes up, another three ball goes down. 
Villalova stepping up in a big, big way right now. Highest score of the season for her is 16 against Gior back on game day three of the regular season. Too heavy, good defense by Praha. Long rebound is pulled in by Villeneuve Dask, though. Strong drive to the basket by Burke. Fouled hard by McBegor. Burke will head to the line for free throws. Burke gets the first of the two to drop. Just three points for Kennedy Burke so far. One from five from the field. Not the start she would have expected or that her team need her to deliver. She's averaging over 15 points a game. At 31 against Praha. Back on game day 12 on their home floor when they were one of the three teams to pick up a win against Praha this season. Ayayi, shot fake inside, dumps it off to McBegor. Tough work inside by both teams. It will remain Praha ball on the baseline. Look at that battle, five players going after the rebound. Not one player stepping back on this one as Alio comes back into the game. As Zealous takes a breather on the bench. To Zorla. Hands it into Ayayi. Ayayi fakes the three. Villova will drive inside. Praha. Oh, rejected. That's a great read by Burke. Alio now leading the charge. Hands it off to the trail to Selon. She can't get the finish, a real narrow angle for her to do her work. Kazola into the hands of McBegor as Praha run their horns offense. Conde now, a little running one footer. Salon with the rebound, her fourth rebound of the game. Pass inside to Salon. Both teams really hustling hard defensively in this quarter. Down low, and an air ball is thrown up in the end by the Abbey. As Praha's defense is watertight for that possession. Zola now looking for options and Ayayi's definitely an option here today. Oh, pass inside, a great pass. And the foul, it's on the floor, I think. Cariata Diaby just caught on the wrong side on that defense. A little late on the rotation, maybe. Third team foul of the quarter for Villeneuve Duask. Praha already in the penalty. Ayayi now with possession. Shot clock down to six. Conde. Trying to shake things up. Finds a way inside. Has it knocked away? That's going to be a shot clock violation. Conde not happy, saying her arm was pulled. Timeout has been called here. Let's have a look at the replay. Tough to see from that angle. Full court away, but timeout has been caught. As Praha hold a 39-35 lead over Villeneuve Dask. Coach Meziat calls the timeout. Not able to go into the timeout huddle this time with the camera and the mic. 
but uh, understandable that coach Mezian calls a timeout. A little over 90 seconds left in this first half. But an important 90 seconds. I'm sure Villeneuve Das don't want to be down by more than four points heading into the locker room. Ideally, if they can narrow it down or maybe even sneak a lead, that would give them a big boost. Whilst coach Hekova having a conversation with the official, I presume about the uh, last possession where Conde felt she was pulled back. It'll be a baseline ball though for Villeneuve Dask on the return. Alio brings it up over the half. Burke now. Beat it down into the low post. Oh, that's too low. Oh, McBeggar, another block. Pozzola inside, and another score for Ayayi. Praha really had a slowish start, but warming into this game nicely. Alio gets the score. Both teams want to finish on a high. Don't want to try and regain some momentum in the second half. They want to enter it with some pace. Batted away, though, by Burke. So it'll be a sideline ball for Praha. Kazola will come out as Sabali comes back in and Praha revert to a... Uh, Bigger five on the floor. Conde now into the point guard position. Conde tries to turn the corner. Skip pass to Ayayi. Villova will have to come back out. Ayayi will get it away, but not in time. Shot clock violation by Praha. Good defense on show from Villeneuve Dask. Alio now looking for something, an option. Nothing there right now. She's going to weave to the other side. Smalls beats the low post. Burke up against McBegor. McBegor steps across. Good footwork from McBegor. That's all tied up. Possession arrow in favor of Villeneuve Dask. Only 1.6 seconds, though, left on the shot clock. French team get a shot away. Catch, shoot, ball goes up high, arcing off the glass. It's too high. Shot clock violation. And that will leave 12.4 seconds for Praha to try and extend this four point lead. Pass inside, Sabali draws the foul. Good movement from Praha, creating disruption, causing Villeneuve to ask problems. Sabali just so strong. Alio reaches across, fouls called. First is good for Sabali. And the second is good. Out to a six-point lead, that equals their game-high lead so far, Praha. Smalls trying to go all the way, coast to coast, off the glass. She ends up on the floor. And that will be the half-time here in Mersin. An enthralling first half of basketball to get our final fours underway at the half. Villeneuve Dask, 37, Praha, 43. Both teams heading to the locker room. Plenty to talk about, as expected. This one is a close one. Praha with the six-point lead at the half on the back of some huge performances, none more so than Ayayi. 15 points in the first 20 minutes. But look at the stats, Praha. 15 assists for their 43 points. That is good team basketball. Ayayi leads all scorers with 15. The Abbey 
leads Villeneuve Dask with seven. Here are some of the highlights from the first half of basketball. An absolutely blistering first quarter. Saw Praha score 27 points. This semi-final came down back to earth with a bump in the second quarter, though both teams really lifting their defensive intensity. As Praha held Villeneuve Das to just 11 points in that second quarter. That's what's enabled them to extend their lead out to six at the half. Highlight performance without a shadow of a doubt is Ayayi. She has 15 points at the half. Her season high is only 19 points, and that one should be shot out of the water here in the semi-final. Another big performance is Miala Sabali has 10 points and is perfect from the field, four from four. And uh, also stepping up is Teresa Violova with eight points, two from three from outside for her. As for Villeneuve d'Ask, their leading scorer is Diaby. She has seven points as well as four rebounds. And then just behind her is Chavonte Zealous with six points, all of which coming from the perimeter. But what an exciting first half we've had. Plenty of highlight plays, plenty of big buckets, both inside and out as these two teams get us underway here nicely in Mersin. Remember, this is the first of our semi-finals later on this evening. We have the All-Turkish second semi-final as our host, Cukarova, will be taking on the powerhouse, the reigning champions, Fenerbahce. Make sure you've got that one locked into your diary for later today, because that is going to be a real battle. But we have a huge battle on our hands here already, as Villeneuve Dask have put on a good performance in the first half, had a strong start as coach Hekova's team took a little bit of time to find their feet in this semi-final, but my goodness me, have they found them. And now they lead by six at the half. This game still hangs in the balance, though. Plenty of big players on both teams that could come out and really be game changers here. Yeah, they really could be game changers, but it's going to take a, an interesting conversation at the half from Coach Meziak. But we'll be back with the second half shortly. At the half, it's Villeneuve Das 37, Praha 43.
Coach, what do you expect from the second half? I uh, expect from my team to be uh, harder in defense. Right now we are not enough hard. Okay, we let too much easy basket to Prague. Okay, and we know with uh, with their talent we cannot do we cannot accept to win okay like this. So we score uh, 37 points. So I think offensively we are in the game, we are respecting our game plan, but defensively defensively right now it's not enough. Thank you. Thank you, coach. Coach, what do you expect from the second half? We will be fight, I think, because both teams they show they do, they uh, want to win uh, the semi. Uh, we are a little bit ahead, but uh, I expect it will be fight. Okay, thank you. Welcome back to Mersin in Tokyo, and we are at the halfway stage of the first semi-final of the 2024 EuroLeague Women Final Fours, and what a first half we have had. What a way to get the party started here on the coast in Tokyo. We have a Villeneuve desk, 37, Praha 43 scoreline, and it has been a close battle throughout the first 20 minutes. The opening quarter is absolutely blistering, raining down buckets left, right, and center. Praha holding a 27-26 a lead at the end of 10 minutes, and then all of a sudden both teams really went into lockdown mode, trying to limit the other team, and it worked in the second in the second quarter, particularly for Praha, as Villeneuve Dask managed to only register 11 points in the 10 minutes of the second quarter. That is why Praha hold a six-point lead. Another one of the big reasons they hold a six-point lead is Valolina Ayayi, 15 points, five from six from the field, three from four from downtown, including a four-point play. That is what the French international has brought to the table to today in the semi-finals. What a game she has had so far. As for Villeneuve Dask, well, we saw the interview with Coach Mezia. He's not happy with how his team are playing defense. He wants them to be more physical, more aggressive, as Praha were able to get plenty of buckets in close, get plenty of points right in the paint, deep under the basket. He wants them to stop that easy points for Praha and lock them out a little bit more. Well, we still have 20 minutes of basketball ahead of us here to see who will be our first finalist here in this year's Final Four. And then remember, this evening we have the All-Turkish semi-final as our host, Chukarova, will take on the reigning champions, Fenerbahce. It doesn't get more Hollywood than that as a matchup. Expect an electric atmosphere here in the 6,000 plus arena that we have in Mersin. A wonderful venue, a wonderful city to host the climax of this year's EuroLeague women's competition. But before we get to that second semi final, we have got a huge 20 minutes of basketball ahead of us here as Villeneuve to ask. 
try to be the first French team to make it through to a final, unbelievably, in 20 years. That's how long it's been since the French team has been to the final of the EuroLeague Women Final Four. It's been 10 years since we had a French team in the semi-finals. That was Bourges. But Praha stand in the way, and Praha have a six-point lead right now. Second half underway here in Mersin. Praha lead this one by six. Villeneuve Dask 37, Praha 43. Kazola now, skip pass to Conde. Oh, little touch pass for Achkova in the corner. Comes up short, though. Good chase out by Burke to make that a tough opportunity for Verachkova. Smalls now. Skips it. Selon. It's a three. That's exactly how the French team will have wanted to start the second half. Halfing Praha's lead with one easy bucket from Selon. Kazola now. Looks to attack, defense reacts well. Three ball goes up, Ayayi. A rare miss from her this evening. Zealous brings it up over the half. Smalls now. Oh, good read by Kazola. Gets in the passing lane and whips that one away. Vrachkova. Feeds McBegor in the low post. She's looking to go to work. Comes up short this time. As Burke pulls down the rebound. Smalls drives all the way through. Will skip back and get the score. And that's just a smart, smart play from Camille Smalls. Averaging just over nine points a game this season. Played in every EuroLeague women's game that Villeneuve Dask has played. Kazola to McBegor, long two from the top of the key, no good. Conde taps it inside, Ayayi will get the roll. That is a brave but smart play by Maria Conde. And that pretty much sums up Maria Conde as a player, I think. Brave and smart. Zealous. Closely guarded by Kazola. The Abbey sets a tough screen. Zealous will hit the long two and lumps her chest as she does. Villeneuve Dask in touching distance now. They're trailed by just a single point, an early five point swing here. Foul's going to be called on Zealous. She needs to be careful. She picked up a technical foul in the first half for a little bit of sarcasm towards the officials. Have a look at the replay. The wrestling match with Ayayi. Zalas picks up her third personal foul as well. It's problematic for Coach Mezia. Pass no good, almost stolen away. Ayayi in and out for three. And an easy rebound for Salon. Oh, but Conde is at it again and she ties it up. Does she know? Villeneuve dashed just about. Get it away, but it's an eight-second violation. Smart play by Conde. Tying Zealous up on the floor, and even if she doesn't get the steal, she burns enough of the shot clock that uh, Villeneuve Dask have to turn the ball over. Just a little sweat on the floor from that battle, getting mopped up before we can get going again. Exactly the start, I think, that Coach Meziat was asking for. A 7-2 start to this third quarter from his team. Kazola waits for the Ayayi screen. Kazola drives inside, off the glass. Won't get the roll this time, though. Where's the rebound? It just about falls kindly for Villeneuve Dask. Oh, Smalls with the handle. Too hot to handle. Camille Smalls gets the score, and just like that, Villeneuve Dask have a lead. A 9-2 start now to this second half. How will Praha react? I imagine another bucket, and Coach Hakova will have no choice. McBegor, and that is Praha basketball in a nutshell. Good ball movement 
Trying to create disruption, trying to create some space down low. Salon looking for options, skips it back to the top. Zellers for three. Ah, oh, string music from the top. Javante Zellers, a point to prove. Villeneuve to ask, retake the lead. Conde tries to split the defense, back out to Ayayi. Ayayi has to fade away, it's a tough shot, and Salon just reaches out with that wingspan and rips the rebound down. Zellas skips it, corner, small, short. Conde now coming back the other way against Burke. Little shake, little hesitation. She'll have to come back out, though. Varachkova, lob pass. Oh, beautifully placed pass by Varachkova. Wonderful. Two points for Ayayi. Takes her personal tally to 19 now, Ayayi. That's caught up on the floor. Possession arrow points in favor of Villeneuve Dask. Double change here for Praha as McBegor and Kazola come out. Villova and Sabali come back in. We are tied here, 49 apiece. Five minutes and 14 seconds left here in this third quarter. Smalls using the, the Abbey screen. She'll use it again. Oh, what a beautiful pass. Splits the defense and one. The Abbey roars in the face of Ialova. Shows how pumped this French team are right now. Draws the contact on the arm and on the body. Officials, I think, just uh, having a little quiet word with her. She probably just tipped over the acceptable with that reaction. It just shows how much it means to the 28-year-old. And she completes the three-point play. Rachkova hands it back to Villalova. Conde now. Shot clock down to five. We'll get it back. Conde glides to the bucket for two. It's a real combination that Praha have. Ayayi and Conde. Really locked in sync, in step with one another perfectly. Salon down into the low post. The Abbey looking to go to work, bullying away to the basket. Just too big, too strong. Cariata the Abbey. Sabali. Oh, we have a big battle. The two bigs going toe-to-toe. -to -toe. This time, Sabali muscling away into the paint. Zellas hands it back out to Salon. Shot clock down to five. The yeah, Abbey will have to put the shot up. Won't get it to go. They'll crash the boards hard. Villova comes away with it, but steps out of bounds. A new 14 for Villeneuve to ask to work with. Baseline ball for the French team. Long inbound pass. Smalls to catch up on. Skip pass for the three. A little flat. Ayayi with the rebound. Her fourth rebound of the game. Hits it back. Oh my goodness. Ayayi is putting on a clinic right now. Any uh, aspiring young basketball players out there? Just watch how Valerian Ayayi is playing this game. Watch and learn. The school is in session right now. It's the first of her two free throws. That's 20 points for Valerian Ayayi. Seven from 11 from the field.
as well as four rebounds and four assists. With Ayayi in that type of form, that really does change things up for Praha. Zealous now brings it up over the half as Praha regain a one-point lead. Burke drives strong to the basket, draws the foul, can't finish. We'll have to earn her points from the free throw line. Yeah, take your pick on the foul there. UCLA graduate at the line for her two free throws. Just over three minutes left here in this third quarter. Doesn't get the first to go. A little over 70% free throw shooter, Kennedy Burke. It's the second, though, and that will tie the game up. This really is a uh, roller coaster back and forth battle here between these two. A little over three minutes left here in the third quarter, and it's 55 to Villeneuve Das, 55 to Praha. Both teams making changes. Conde comes out, Kozula comes in. Smalls also takes a break as Alio returns to the floor. Rajkova now at the top, uses a Savali screen, but the hedge is hard from Burke. She'll have to recover, drives inside off the glass. Smart play from the 24-year-old. Really has gone from strength to strength under the guidance of coach Hekova. Zealous now at the top, shot clock at seven. The Abbey sets the screen for her, got the mismatch against McBegor. Shot's going to have to go up. Salon heavily contested and hits the three. Via Lova, her defense couldn't have been any better, but the uh, offense was even better. Oh, but the other end of the floor, McBegor just blasts her way through, ends up on the floor for the rebound. Kazola, no good. Via Lova with another rebound. Praha crashing the offensive boards hard. That's a good read by Salon. Sometimes you forget that Janel Salon is just 22 years old. Foul's going to be called on Kozola. That will be her third foul of the game as well. A necessary foul for Mike Kozola. Rajkova will head to the bench as Conde comes back in. We're also going to see a change for Villeneuve Dask as Kennedy Burke takes a break. In her place comes Isola and Baka. Salon kicks it to the wing. Zealous for three. It's a bit flat. Yeah, you could tell when it left her hand, it didn't leave right. Savali with some good rim protection for Praha, though. Conde gets double teamed. Savali. Drives inside, kicks it, Kazola wide open, plenty of space to breathe and plenty of space to drain the three ball. Praha up to 60 and out to a two-point lead. Alio runs off the first screen on the horns. The Soa and Baka will come back out. Alio for three. Oh, raise the three. That's a big, big shot by the captain. Not had a great season from outside, shooting just 25% from downtown, but what a time to step up and hit a triple. Oh, let's go on back out, out of the races, gets the steal, and we'll get the breakaway bucket too. Villeneuve Dask out to a three-point lead now. What a quarter they have had. Sabali inside, McBegor. Hands it back to Conde, who will get the score. Ah, oh, breathtaking. Heart-pumping basketball right now here in Mersin. Praha back to within one. Final 20 seconds of what has been a blistering third quarter of basketball. Zealous now, shot clock at five. Lob, air, nothing there. Conde. 
Seven seconds left in the quarter. Can Praha re-establish a lead? Conde, Villalova, short two, won't get the roll. That's the end of the third quarter. And what a third quarter for Villeneuve Dask. It's exactly what coach Mezian asked from his team. It's 63 to Villeneuve Dask, 62 to Praha. Just 10 minutes left in this semi-final. What a third quarter of basketball we've had here for Villeneuve Dask. Unbelievable fight back. And it started really from the start of that third quarter. And that play there from Lesowa and Baca really, well, it, it captures how they played that third quarter. Much harder, higher pressing, tough defense. That's had an impact on Praha's shooting percentages as well. Both teams, though, lighting it up from outside. Both teams 47% from downtown. That is unbelievable at this level. But what a quarter they had outscoring Praha 26 to 19. And there is the graphic that tells you all you need to know about coach Hekova. It was her 70th birthday just last week and she has five EuroLeague women titles in the trophy cabinet on her resume. Will it be number six? Will we see her pick up that sixth trophy? One of the greatest coaches of all time trying to continue to do great things. Well, just 10 more minutes left here in the first semi-final of the 2024 EuroLeague Women Final Fours. And they have certainly given us a wonderful start to our weekend of basketball. The first 30 minutes have been breathtaking. They really have. But with 10 minutes to play, Villeneuve to ask lead this one 63 to 62. Who will be the hero? And which of these two teams will be in the final on Sunday? Final quarter action underway here in Mersin. 10 minutes left, stolen away, good quick hands. Alio out of the races, gets the score. And that's what Villeneuve Dask are known for. They have almost 10 steals a game. That's the second highest in the entire EuroLeague women's competition. Foul's going to be called on Diaby. Official just explaining that you uh, put your fight into her and eased her off the floor. As Conde barrels her way into the front row. Villeneuve Dask with a three-point lead. The fairy tale is still on here for the French team. Oh, the triple team just locks down on McBegor, and she ends up throwing it away. Ends up on the floor as well. My goodness me, how quickly that triple team just dropped in on McBegor was unbelievable. Foul's going to be called. Who is that on? Is it on Ayayi? It is. Foul number three on her. First foul of the quarter for either team. Let's have a look. Tough to see from that camera angle. Smalls now in possession, being chased by Sabali. Salon. Goes up against McBega, pulls up, fades away, and gets the score. Jeanette Salon. What a season she has had, an absolute phenom. Ayayi being harassed, hands it to Sabali. Shot clock down to seven now, Conde backs it out. Accelerates against Salone, won't get the roll, rebound is easy for Diaby. Uh, seventh rebound of the game. Stolen away, Savily with the good hands. Gets out and runs. The Soa and Baca will be called for the foul. And that's quite a smart foul from the Belgian international. Just to slow things down. That's great hands by Savily. Even great camera work as well on the baseline. Catching that one.
Ball inbounded now to Cazorla. Who's come back into the game for Villalova. Offensive foul is going to be called on Cazorla. And that's foul number four on Cazorla. That's a problem. She's in shock with the call. Let's have a look at the replay. Yeah, it's the little dip of the shoulder to clean Salon out. Can't drop that shoulder. Look at the shocked expression on her face. That really is putting Kazula in a position right now. Picking up her fourth foul this early in the fourth quarter. Will Alio try and draw the fifth and get her out of the game? Smalls pulls up at the free throw line and hits the jumper. Camille Smalls, and you really feel right now that Villeneuve Dask are in the ascendancy. They've got a swagger about them. They've got some confidence. Conde drives the baseline, goes all the way through. Ayayi for three. And just like that, I forget that Valeria Ayayi is on the floor. 24 points now for the French international as she's trying to break French hearts by knocking Villeneuve Dask out of EuroLeague Women Final Fours. The so on backer kicks it. Short corner. High arcing, too high arcing. McBegor grabs the rebound. Her fifth board of the game. Cazorla now. Asking for the reset on the screen. Has to come back out. Sabali for three. Not this time. Alio with the rebound. You can feel almost the desperation with both teams now. As the uh, clock ticks down, the pressure builds up. The Soa on backer. Oh, behind the back. Oh, a little bit of showboating. Love the play. That's a huge play. Clip that one up right now. Look at the handle. Oh, there you go. Split the defense with the behind the back dribble and just nonchalantly lays it off the glass. Timeout has been called by coach Haykova as Praha need to talk it over. They trail by six right now. With a little over seven minutes still to play, coach Haykova. Needs to reset a few things and get her team back on track. Ayayi hitting a big, big three. And that was good timing for that triple as well as really Villeneuve Dask was starting to run away with it. Coming the other end of the floor though, so and back up with an absolute highlight play. Pulled out of the top drawer of her 3x3 days. And she completes the three-point play as well. A seven-point lead now for Villeneuve Dask. Hoff at the top, hands it to McBegger. The lane opens up, she drives strong to the basket. Ezzy McBegger, just six points this evening. She has struggled to get into the game. The physicality has knocked her off her stride. She's three from nine from the field. Lesoa Mbaka backs it up, trying to show some moves again, kicks it out. Salon for three, that's short. Ayayi, another rebound. Fifth rebound of the game for her. Hoff, not seen much of the action tonight. Ameze Hoff. Inside, she'll go to work. Won't get the roll. Oh, Conde glides through. That's tied up. And that will be a tie-up. Just looking for the possession arrows, pointing in favor of Villeneuve Dask. Baseline ball. Ah, 
out of the game comes Magbega. Varachkova comes back in for Praha. Six minutes and ten seconds remaining. Vilnuev to ask five points ahead and edging their way towards their first ever appearance in a final. Shot goes up, no good. Conde the other way to Hoff. Oh, Hoff loses a footing. Trying to hold on to it in turn at the same time. And such full pace, not easy. Baseline ball for Villeneuve Dask now. And it's those little situations that are so costly in the clutch. Elio bringing it up over the half. Pass to Salon. Kicked out. Shot clock at eight. Elio feeds the low post. The Abbey trying to bully away inside against Varachkova. She does and she gets the score. Back up to a seven point lead now. Kazola for three. Off right, rebound, knocked out of bounds by the Abbey. Baseline ball for Praha. Timeout has been called by coach Mezia. His team lead by seven, five minutes and 20 seconds to go, maybe he's seeing something that he wants to pounce on before it helps Praha back into this game. If he can hold them at arm's length two or three possessions away, that is a much more comfortable place to be. Let's see if we can head into the huddle and listen to the coaches. Well, it doesn't get much bigger than this. Five minutes and 20 seconds remaining in this first semi-final. What a semi-final it's been. It's delivered everything it promised. We expected it to be a real battle. Two high-quality teams, very little between them. And right now, with a little over five minutes left, there are seven points between them. Praha trailing to Villeneuve Dask by seven, but they have possession. Ayayi. Drives inside, scoops it off the glass, no good. We'll grab her own rebound and we'll draw the foul. Valeria Ayayi, what a game she's had. There's her own rebound and there's the foul from Alio. Ayayi, 24 points, six rebounds and four assists. Villova comes back into the game as Conde heads to the bench. I don't think Conde will be on the bench for long. Rachkova glides inside, can't get the score. Hoff, though, with another offensive rebound. The putback on the right hand is a little soft and a little short. Lusoa and Baka. Oh, behind the back again. Doesn't split the defense this time, though. Alio off the foot of half. That'll be a fresh 14 seconds for Villeneuve to ask. And you do wonder at what stage in this game. There's the replay. Let's have a look. Yeah, off the feet of Ameze Hoff. What stage do the French team start managing the clock a little? Smalls kicks it out. Lesoa and Baka. Too heavy. Rebound for Achkova. 
Real pace in the Praha offense now. Double team comes across. Hoff kicks it out. Villalova, corner pocket. Three is good. What a game Villalova's having right now. 11 points. Three big triples within that. Praha back to within four. Smalls. Little crossover. Lane opens up and... Defense doesn't react, but what can Kazula do? She's on four fouls. She can't come across and help too much. Pick up that fifth foul would be a real problem for Praha. Hoff turns a corner, glides in and gets the score. Meze Hoff. And right now, some of the more roll and support players are really lifting Praha up. Asawa Mbaka. Trying to shake, kicks it out, Salon into the corner, Alio, not this time, rebound Varachkova. Pass inside to Hoff, Hoff looking to go to work, ducks under, and she'll get the roll, Praha back within two. Coach Mezian looking on right now and not sure what's happening. That's the Czech team, a resurgent. All of this without McBegger, Sabali, or Conde on the floor. Salon for three. No, Kazola hands it ahead to Ayayi. That's a blocking foul on Alio. Ayayi's taking a shot to the face. Yeah, it didn't look a nice one at all. Right across the bridge of her nose. She'll uh, head to the line for free throws as Villeneuve Dask are in the penalty. Yeah, there's the blocking foul. Oh, just a, a second too late. You can see what Alio is trying to do. Just too late, though. Picks up her fourth foul, heads to the bench. Both teams making personnel changes as Conde has come back in for Praha. And there she is. Backdoor cut for the two. And we have a tied ball game here in Mersin. Two minutes and 50 to play. And this is anyone's game right now. Smalls inside, and one, Camille Smalls. What a play. Big games need big players. And that's exactly what Camille Smalls is. At the line for the chance of a three-point play right now. And she gets it to go. Villeneuve Dask's lead back out to three. Oh, this is absolutely pulsating basketball. You always hope, you always thought this game would be a good one, but it is delivering Conde offensive rebound. She'll go again. Villeneuve, short corner, two is good. Teresa Villeneuve, 13 points, five from nine from the field for her. Just three short of a season high. What a time to come and light it up. Salon. Hands it off. Patience here from Villeneuve Dask. Oh, it's thrown up just in time by Burke, but it's a prayer and maybe a little bit too patient from the French team. Conde now against the Abbey. She'll come back out. Plenty of time on the shot clock for Praha. Ayagi down in the low post. Trying to lose Smalls. She'll take the short corner. Ah, it's good defense by Camille Smalls, though. Tied her up with that one. Zealous now. To Burke. Burke goes inside against Hoff. Tough play. We'll have to earn a point from the free throw line. Kazola on the floor. Maybe she's got cramp. Looks like she has. As Ayayi tries to stretch that leg out. Timeout has been called by coach Heikova. You wonder if that's technical or just to try and give some players a little bit of a breather. As they have put in a big shift already this evening, but with one minute and 15 seconds left on the game clock, 
It is Vilnoev Dask by a single point. 79 to Vilnoev Dask, 78 to Praha. Kennedy Burke has come to play, putting in some big, big performances. She's drawn the foul there, a chance to extend her team's lead. But let's head into the huddle with coach Heikova and coach Mezian. Now here are the big performances so far this evening. Ayayi and Smalls. Smalls with 16 points, five rebounds, six assists. Ayayi, 24 points, six rebounds, five assists. Those two players trying everything they can to get their teams to the final on Sunday. Right now, though, the ball is in the hands of Kennedy Burke. Unbelievably, only five points on the board for Kennedy Burke. She's averaging over 15 a game across the 17 games she's played in EuroLeague Women's this season. One from seven from the field. The first is no good. Fatigue and pressure have a price to pay. And uh, even the greatest players end up paying that price at some point. She'll rattle home the second, though. Vilnoev Dask's lead up to two. A little over a minute left here. Kazola. Oh, will attack the basket. The lane opened up. Oh, it doesn't roll for her. Kazola. I wonder if she was caught between two minds, whether to lay it straight in or whether to go off the glass. Under a minute to play. Oh, inside. Where's the defense gone for Praha? A four-point lead now. Kazola fighting away to the basket, off the glass, rebound by Vilnoev Dask. Surely it's time management. No foul called. Smalls will bring it back out. Just 34 seconds left. Surely Praha have got a foul. They have. Ayayi called for the foul, but 13 seconds burnt off the game clock. Fourth foul on Ayayi. Oh my goodness me. Ah, oh, Vilnoev Dask. Just 31.3 seconds away from making it to the final. Is the fairy tale going to carry on for another couple of days at least? Smalls at the line for two. She has 16 points, six rebounds, and seven assists this evening. Make that 17 points. A two possession ball game right now. 31.3 seconds to play. Oh, that is absolutely ice from the free throw line for Smalls. Timeout call by coach Hekova. She'll want to advance the ball for sure. But she is going to have to draw on every single ounce of experience that she has to try and get her team back into this one. 31.3 seconds left on the semi-final game clock and it's Vilnoev Dask leading this one 84 to 78 over Praha. Wow, my goodness me. Are we in for the upset? Are we in for the shock here? Praha won their group, fought their way through the quarterfinals to get here. Going up against Vilnoev Dask. The underdogs, really, they finished third in their group. In the same group as Praha. Praha won it, Vilnoev Dask third, but all of that means nothing right now. 31.3 seconds to play, and the French team lead by six. Knocked away, it's going to remain Praha ball. They're asking for the challenge, they're not going to use it. 
Ayayi now to Magbegor. Hands it back to Kazola. They need to go relatively early. Shot clock is down to six. Ayayi from way downtown. The long rebound falls out of bounds. And is Praha's nightmare going to be two years running right now? Vilnoev Daska are going to make the change. The Sowa and Baka comes to the line and they bring more size onto the floor in the shape of the Abbey. It's going to be a quick foul, surely here. No one there to foul though. Smalls just brings it up the floor. Are they going to let her run it and see if they can steal it away? They're going to have to foul. They do, but they've let so much time come off the clock. Oh my goodness me. And for me, this is what I talked about before the game. Without Teo Black, do Praha necessarily have the leadership? And it's showing right now that maybe they don't. Maybe this is when Teo O'Black is going to be missed the most. Still a six-point ball game from Burke's perspective. She just needs to hit one. That would take it out to a three-possession ball game, and surely that's too much. She misses them both. Ten seconds to go, almost a travelling violation. Kazola surely has to go early. She's not taken the shot, she drives inside, I'm not sure why. And that will be it! Oh, there's history in the making here in Mersin. An unbelievable first semi-final. Vilnoev de Ask have won this one. They will appear in the EuroLeague Women Final for the first time in their club's history. The first time in 20 years we've seen a French team in the final. Unbelievable scenes, unbelievable scenes here. We've got photographers trying to get on the floor. I can't blame them for trying to get onto the floor. It's been unreal to see this performance. Masterminded by coach Mezia, Vilnoev de Ask will be in Sunday's final. Praha, the heartbreak continues. Final score, Vilnoev de Ask 84, Praha 78. All smiles for coach Messiaen and Shavante Zellas. And no surprises, what a job him and his team have done. It has been absolutely unreal. It really has been phenomenal. Celebrations on the court for the French team. They came in as underdogs. They came into the playoffs as underdogs, but they beat DVTK in a three-game series, including a 15-point win in game three, just to earn their right to be at the final four for the first time in their histories. Now, they are making even more history. They are pushing the boundaries even further for their team and for their country. As I said, it was 10 years since we've seen a French team at the final fours. It's 20 years since we've seen a French team in the final. Here's your shooting percentages for both teams. And they are great shooting percentages for both teams, pretty much across the board. Great job by Coach Mezian. Wonderful job by Coach Mezian as he walks in front of me. And uh, he now has to get to the game tape and start planning for a final on Sunday. Just two days to get themselves ready as a dejected and heartbroken Praha team walks slowly back to the locker room. A repeat of the heartbreak from last year. They've given so much, they should hold their heads high. What a semi-final we have had here in Mersin. It has been unbelievable, but it is Villeneuve to ask who will take the lead as we have tears running down the cheeks of Janelle Salon. And so captain, Caroline Alio consoles her and says to her, look, what a performance, we've done it. Job one done. They will be in the final on Sunday. And what a game we have had here. Some huge performances across the board, some huge performances within the Villeneuve de Ask roster. Four players hitting double digits. Smalls leading the way with 18 points, six rebounds and seven assists. Selon had 15 points and seven rebounds. The Arby with 14 points and nine rebounds. As for Praha, well, one major standout. Ayayi did everything she could to get her team to the final. She ends up with 24 points, six rebounds and five assists. Villeneuve had 13 points, Sabali with 12, but it wasn't enough as the French team, Villeneuve d'Ask, have done it.
They have secured themselves a spot in the final. They have secured themselves a chance to make history, a chance to lift the EuroLeague Women Trophy for the first time in their club's history. Thank you so much for joining me. I hope you've enjoyed this first semi-final. Up shortly will be our second semi-final, the All-Turkish Affair, as our hosts, Chukarova, will take on the reigning champions, Fenerbahce. Make sure you come back for that one. That will be very, very shortly. It was a tough game, and what would you like to say about the game? Nothing. They deserve the win. They play hard. We didn't play our game, and then we lost. That's it. We knew that if we didn't play our game, it will be tough, and that was it. Okay, thank you. Congrats, you are in the final. What would you like to say about today? Um, I just want to say I knew we could do it. We knew we could do it. It was a lot of people that predicted us to finish fourth in this tournament, but we still stand there. We still fighting. We believed in ourselves. I'm happy we came out and fought. We didn't lay down. They went up a few times, but we got the job done. Okay, congrats again. Thank, Thank you. you.